Pokemon. Like many of you out there, I grew up on the series. I used to stay at the school and worry about what the type of advantages are, buy booklets so I can learn strategies, and just make fanfiction of the series. And it wasn't until a couple years ago I heard of the concept of a Nuzlocke. But in all honesty, I mean, I didn't want to do one because I, I, I'm known to switch games like left and right. You see on my YouTube channel, my Twitch channel. So it wasn't until the middle of the summer where I decided to hit up my content machine and we brainstormed a couple ideas. Originally, I didn't want to put the Pokemon Gen 3 games in there because, you know, all oh, everybody does those games. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to be like everybody. But I sent it to my chat and they wanted those two the most. And let's just say at the time, I wasn't very, <laughs> very happy about the decision they had made. But ignoring that, the decision was made. We are ready to start a Fire Red Nuzlocke. If you don't know what a Nuzlocke is, here is a list of rules for you. Now with those rules in play, I am officially allowed to start this Nuzlocke. Welcome to the Dreams Lock, Fire Red Edition. And I just want to say again, it's like my first time playing at Nuzlocke, so what? If you don't like my decisions, yeah, you can just be a little bit nice about it. <laughs> uh, and, and be sure to be like the video, you make sure to subscribe too, yeah, thumbs up, yeah. As any great journey starts, we start in our hometown and we do a bunch of boring stuff. I just asked my chat if, they're, if they want to make a decision for me as a Pokemon starter, because I personally don't care. And they chose the hardest mon in the first three gyms, Charmander. With this in mind, I know that I had to get some additional Pokemon on my team. So I have my first encounter. And it does... look for yourself. Uh, alright. If I capture it, you get... Oh my gosh, I hate this Pokemon. What the heck? Gosh, I'm about to lose all my Pokeballs. That's nah, a gimmick. It's a gimmick. It's a gimmick. It's a gimmick. <laughs> you know, I'm one to think this symbolizes how this Nuzlocke is going to go. There aren't many Pokemon before I face Brock that have a type advantage over Rock type Pokemon, except for one Pokemon, Mankey. So the only trouble now is actually trying to find this Pokemon, and lucky enough that is the first Pokemon I encounter in that area. Once catching Mankey, I was relieved. I felt like good things were coming my way. All right. Bro, what are you doing? Hey, Dreams, you're off the Pokemon link? Forget about it. You probably don't have any badges, do you? The guard won't let you through without them. By the way, did you your Pokemon get any stronger? You're already battling me? And it was now time to start my second run. I have faith. That's a, that's a crit. Oh! <laughs> Joe! <laughs> cool. Ah, you only have Tackle on you? Damn it! Ah! Uh... Entering run two, I decided to make a couple new changes. Other than changing my name to Dreams 2 and my rival JD5. JD5, you don't know, he is also one of our viewers. He's a VIP, and I like to name my characters after people I do not like. Like JG5. I managed this time to actually get a Mankey, and just like before, I lose it just as quick. See, at this point in the run, I'm feeling a little startled and hesitant of facing Brock because I'm a little bit under leveled and I have to face Onyx, but I go anyway and. I'm just doomed because I, I, I'm a bad trainer. I'm a bad trainer, okay? It's time for run three. So yada, yada, yada. We go through all the phases of the game and fight Brock once again and defeat him barely. But we did it. That's the, that's the goal ticket to the dream's luck. Barely winning. I want to take the moment to introduce another part of the chapter, Nate is cool. Nate is a viewer who also is a, can be a, a little bit of a smart aleck. He's a know-it-all in Pokemon, but uh, sometimes his know-it-all skills actually help me out in the day. Along the way, I gained some couple Pokemon, and I watched them all fall before I can raise them into young adults, such as Obama. We we don't want to talk about Obama though because he's still he's still there at heart. But what those you don't know is I like one Pokemon and one Pokemon specifically, and that's Gyarados. So what we do, we catch a magic carp along the way, baby. Yeah, that's the home of Nishiki. And if you don't know Nishiki, uh, that's because he doesn't last very long because he dies before 
before we get to the second gym. <laughs> so I have no other choice but to train Charizard into to be a monster, a killing machine. And honestly, I think it's a smart idea to ever get your Pokemon this high up before the second gym. <laughs> But I, I, I'm, I'm desperate. Now let's hold up real quick. Let me catch your attention. And I just want to say, I know I've been saying a bunch of like random things and rules. Like, oh, I should be falling for myself while doing this Nuzlocke. But there's one thing every Nuzlocker should always know. That's the quote of the century right there. Play around the crit. Being crit in Pokemon is one of the most heart-sinking feelings because you could be randomly have all your type advantages and, and have such a high level and the next thing you know is you see your HP dwindling down way more than you expect and you're like, oh shoot, I could die here. And that's that's just that's just how Nuzlocke's go. That's how most Nuzlocke's end up ending because people don't play around the crit. With this constantly in my mind, I enter a segment that happens in every Pokemon Nuzlocke, and I call this the Blur. The Blur is basically where you go and fight trainers, you get new Pokemon, you just rinse and repeat, and go gym leaders, and it just happens over and over again, and nothing really significant happens other than just you leveling up. I don't really exit this moment until I reach Saffron City and enter Silphco. The year, okay. Gotcha. Diamond. Sh <laughs> I don't know. I, I read that. Uh, diamond shaped titties are teleport blocks. It's pretty nice. Now let me let you in on this a little early. Silk Coat is the game changer of this run. It is the part where I grind my ass off. And that's because Team Rocket's supposed to the brim of this place. You're forced to face all these tough trainers and gain a lot of experience. So with that, I decide to leave my main fortress, Donkey Kong, out of this one. My Donkey Kong aside. The supporting cast starts to take a lead and they crush, destroy, obliterate the rest of Team Rocket. They even destroy JD5. JD5 doesn't even take doesn't even stand a chance to my amazing supporting cast. Donkey Kong's just chilling. He's in the ball just chilling, relaxing. You know the level ups, great supporting cast I have, I get a little cocky along the way. We face Giovanni and this is where Things take a turn. I lose my pride and joy. The one who held us down. The one who... <laughs> my one and only Donkey Kong. <laughs> See what I mean, guys? This is what I mean. Play, play around the crit. And this is the only moment in time where I get a little too antsy and don't play around the crit. There's many more sections. But regardless of that, I am now in fear. Arguably, Sabrina is the hardest and baddest gym leader in the whole entire region. And what I fear now is a calm mind Alakazam. Um, to give you a little context how important our Donkey Kong was, he single-handedly took out Missy, Lieutenant Surge, Koga, and Erica for us. Yeah. One draining montage later. And we managed to defeat the lovely Sabrina. <laughs> man, I'm telling you guys, if, if she was here right now, man, I would just... Yeah, so, what's up? Uh, so I beat you, I beat you and everything, you know? That means, that means you owe me a date, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I, what you mean, yeah? What you mean by that? I, yeah, I can take you out, what you, like, you like boba tea, froyo, what you... <laughs> Shit, yeah. Oh, you got a, oh, you got a man? Oh. <clears throat> it's just cause like, you know, like, I think I'm not, cause, cause I'm black? Ah, uh, here we are onto a new chapter. The sky is blue, the grass is green, and we have a new fighting team. This new fighting crew is able to put on a show and take on the region's best Pokemon trainers and easily defeats the Cinnabar Island Gym. With seven gym badges obtained, we are left to take on the Viridian City Gym and defeat Giovanni. Now let me put this in perspective for you. Giovanni took something very valuable of our team. Now it might have been my fault for putting a fire flying Pokemon into a rock type move, <laughs> admittedly so, but that doesn't cut out anything. He still defeated Charizard, Donkey Kong, and now we're here to pick up the pieces. And there's no better way to do that by sending out Dixie Kong. Dixie Kong, aka Lapras, is the Pokemon that we had to pick up after losing our Donkey Kong. It has two moves that is able to defeat Giovanni, and that's Ice Beam and Surf. And just like 10 year old me, I spam those moves with no remorse. Giovanni and Team Rocket are put the rest, and we are now on the final stages of becoming a Pokemon champion. 
Three Three Road is no pushover, but we go through with no casualties. We actually managed to learn a couple moves along the way and level our Pokemon up to be able to defend themselves against the Elite Four. Taking one final look at our team, we enter the gates of what I call hell. Hopefully this kills it. I think it could. <laughs> if not, it's fine. Alright, we're gonna take some damage. Oh, safeguard is up, okay. Well, protected. Damn it. We lost. Yeah, I, I hate Cloister. Cloister always does that shit. Okay, halfway. Paralyze? Nah, Confusion Ray. Alright. We're confused, it's a little problem. Not too, not too big of an issue though. That doesn't kill, I think. Oh, it does! Let's go! <laughs> yeah! Yes! First one done, baby! This is gonna hurt, we should- Okay, it's only both of them. Only both of them. Fly with Terra now. You're kidding! Oh, that's cool. Uh... Oh, shit! Kills that. Alright, now this is the hard part right here. We might lose another Mon here. Might as well hit a poison stand. Bulk up! Oh shit, that's tough. That is tough. Alright, we're poisoned! Yes! Alright, that's. Perfect, actually. Let's go! Air cutter? What did I do? How much? It's a lot! Oh, the crit. Okay, that makes sense. Nice! We're smack on this boy. Sludge bomb, yeah, expected. We'll be fine. Why did I do so much?
Got it. I gotta go out. And, I gotta go out in, in style. I gotta go out in style. It missed. <laughs> if I'm going out in any hands, I'm going out in my hands of my own. And that's a promise. And that is a promise, ladies and gentlemen. So I didn't defeat the Elite Four. I didn't even get to see the champion. And most importantly, I didn't avenge the fallen Pokemon I had on this run. As this ending may be bittersweet, I'll say this. I sure as hell am not the best Pokemon trainer. <laughs> In fact, I'm not even good at all. I'm not even lucky. But there's one thing I do have, and that is heart. I'm Pokemon Trainer Dreams, and I want to become champion. See you next run.